<laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Other people make it so easy, look so easy to film in the car. <laughs> Maybe if I took the light off the camera, it would be easier. Anywho, good um, afternoon. We are doing the last parcel run for my Christmas stockings. They are still on sale, but they are no longer guaranteed for Christmas. Do, 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 I don't know why I've got this in my head. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. We're going to the post office. Mum has to drive me because we only have one car and I got the order like half an hour after Ben left for work. And this is Mum's don't fill me, I'm not impressed face. <laughs> this is how in the middle of nowhere I live. We have like seven minutes of this driving first. Five minutes? It depends who's driving. Mum's driving about half an hour of this. <laughs> we have no idea, but there's like three camels that live there. We don't know why. It's a very strange house. And this is what we consider to be a main road. And that right next to the ag agricultural place. That was a lot of traffic. That was a lot of traffic. We saw about four cars. We are now all posted. So that is nine people that have the tea Christmas stocking in time for Christmas. And I'm all fuzzy fuzzy up now. I need to get one of those ones with the metal in. And if you are at all just interested in weird facts about my life, up coming here, right at this junction, is where I got hit by a car when I was nine. Yeah, right here. Bang, swee, splat. Right there. Because that's my old house. <laughs> Do you want this one with, with all the... Yeah, that looks like a good, oh, that looks like a good one. I'm just got the ducks more presents. Is it outside? Yeah. All outside things go outside. Hi, babies. Oh, look what we've got you. Oh, 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 yeah. Come on, yeah. I think Ringo's going to really like it. really annoyed me that band-aid sings do they know it's christmas time they're in like african countries not flipping morons plus a lot of african countries have christian people christmas is a christian holiday not a present giving excuse so of course they know it's christmas you stupid stupid man but this actually feels quite apt hey duckies did you know it's christmas time oh. hey fizzle that's mean Wait, what's his present? Yeah, Fizz is a bit of an asshole now. Aren't you? Fizz, we said this the other day, you're beautiful, but you're an absolute twat. <laughs> you know you're beautiful. You also know you're a mean boy. All right, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> yeah, the, the boys are quite pecky now. The girls are fine. We are back and I am just gonna, I am guessing this one is caffeinated and I haven't had a cup of tea yet. So we're gonna steal this one and mum, what's the date? It's the 18th, right? Thank you for the clarification. It is a Russian caravan black tea. So I'm gonna go make myself up a cup of this. Mm, I think with milk, I'm not sure. I'll come back and open the rest of these after Mother's left. Oops. <laughs> it's like a half past six in the evening and I completely forgot to open any of these up. So the Russian caravan was really nice. It was super smooth. Like I had a touch of milk. It was, it was great. It was a great black cup of tea. <sighs> Been to the 20th, right? And today's the 18th. So not that. Let's go for our chai wala next. Do I always open these in a very similar order because I feel like I do chocolate orange chocolate orange what I I think this is a black tea but this is why I would like 
some further information. It says this deep, rich black tea. It does say black tea. <laughs> I'd still like ingredients list though. Uh, okay. I'm cool with that. Chocolate Irish black tea. Do I have any chocolate or any? Yes, I have. I have had in the past and I've liked them. So cool. There's two blacks for today so far. Clipper. So pretty. Number 18 is the chamomile, honey bush, and cinnamon infusion. So herbal. Frenchly. It's already open. Which I'm presuming just means that this particular sticker wasn't very sticky because I didn't open it already. It is a Miss Antler, Miss Antler, my Santla, it's a vanilla green tea. Next up, let's go for our Fortum and Mason. Oh, this is a new one. And I believe it's called Hottija. It is a, again, I believe it is a Japanese tea because a lot of the Japanese tea Instagrammers who actually aren't Japanese, I don't, anywho, um, ooh, very intriguing. I'm gonna have to look up how you properly steep this and one it's good with, and what kind of tea it actually is. It is a green tea. It's distinctive from other green teas because this is roasted in a porcelain pot over charcoal, whereas other, whereas most Japanese teas are steamed. The tea is fired at a high temperature, altering the leaf color tints from green to a reddish brown. Also known as pan fried oven roasted tea. And you should do it at 82 degrees, much like a green tea. A standard serving of this, which is 250 milliliters, a standard traditional cup, has 7.7 .7 milligrams of caffeine. As it has virtually no caffeine, it doesn't cause the anxiety and dizziness that coffee drinkers experience. Huh. So I actually don't know how much a black tea, how much caffeine a black tea has. So a one serving cup, which Google says is 238 grams, um, eight fluid ounces, is 26.2 milligrams. Up and down. Ben again has not opened his advent calendar in several days. I'm so happy that two more of these managed to go out today that will be delivered for Christmas. Although I'm pretty sure most of them have been bought by people as self gifts and I know for a fact not everyone is waiting till Christmas but I don't think I would either. If I was buying it for myself I would just want to open it up. So our Shibu tea for today is a wild cherry black tea. Ooh! I'm not actually feeling another cup of tea today but I don't know whether I should force myself to have one because again two days in a row this video has been a bit lame. Ooh! I'm not getting huge cherry smells, but it does smell nice. It smells more biscuity, which is an intriguing scent. The ingredients are just black tea and cherry flavoring. Uh, can handle milk, but I prefer it black. I think I would drink this black as well. And our AC Perch, let's just admire and this is how many days are I left until Christmas? Madness. Ooh. This is the first of this. Is this the same colour? Yes. So I think there's like two of each colour. Although I don't think there's two of... I don't think that's true. Either, because there's only one of this particular... That's... They're different. I wonder how much it actually costs them to make this product 
because there's a lot of different colors of tins it's not like they're just buying 24 of the same tin they're buying a, i know they've probably made i don't know 100 or whatever of these calendars but it's much Ooh. oh that smells nice it smells almost creamy Ooh. it is again you know not not saying that but love the color of this tin where did i just go here it is the 18th it is a oolong no wonder it smells a bit creamy oolong tea with white tea both from china apple goji berry almond passion fruit blueberry muffin flavoring how specific blueberry muffin flavoring oh. and marigold flower petals okay if i'm gonna have one it's gonna be this yeah, screw it. White tropical tea is a delicate blend of oolong and white tea with sweetness and freshness. This tea can be enjoyed both hot and cold. Ooh, I bet it could actually. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna have a cup of this and then we will call it a day. So that is all of our teas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't do this to me again. Have one outside. <laughs> No, that one. Yeah, okay, that's all about teas. I'm gonna go stick on the kettle. I am taking full advantage of the fact that I have my chair back and I pretty much sit in this constantly until Ben gets home and then I'll move over to the sofa so that we can have dinner. It probably doesn't make any sense, but that's what I do. We have got our tea that I cannot say and I do not have in front of me. It's an oolong and white tea from AC Perch. It smells a lot fruitier in the cup. There was a lot of fruit flavors in it. From the tin, it was really creamy. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. This is as if, okay, this is gonna make no sense maybe we'll try it's like a pina colada no alcohol not the pineapple but you know how a pina colada is creamy and fruity this is creamy and fruity basically that's all i needed to say but yum i want to mix this with ice cream and make it into a smoothie i need some of this a scoop of ice cream a banana Maybe if we're feeling frisky, some white rum, probably Bacardi, because there's not many other white rums that I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, we could do a Malibu. Oh, 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 yes. Malibu scoop of vanilla ice cream a banana and this it is not a christmas drink <laughs> but it sounds delicious that really does sound good i'm super tempted anywho while i daydream about that i am going to get off and edit because it is now half past seven. Oh, okay it's not that late but i do need to edit this and I will see you tomorrow for day 19. We're getting close, guys. We're, we're now within a week. I think I finished my Christmas shopping. Oh, shoot. No, I haven't. I have one more to do. Bum. Okay, well, I'm going to finish this, edit, go on Amazon. But I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye, guys.